Hey everybody, it's Steve Thomason, and I just wanted to share a little uh, tool with you. This week in the narrative lectionary, we come to the story of Joseph in Genesis chapter 37 to 50. And uh, four years ago, I made these illustrations, and this is a PowerPoint that you can download, because one of the difficult things is like, it's a huge story. So how do you tell the story and preach a message that's relevant to today? So this PowerPoint you know, walks through the whole story visually. So I just wanted to show you the PowerPoint. And it begins back with Abraham's uh, family tree. So it starts with Abraham and Sarah. Back in Genesis chapter 12, God makes this outlandish promise to Abraham and Sarah that they would have children and become a great nation. It's outlandish because they're too old to have kids. And so uh, in Genesis 15, 6, the key verse, and Abram believed the Lord and the Lord reckoned it to him as righteousness. Now, if we continue on the PowerPoint, um, the purpose of this PowerPoint is to just walk through the family line and get us to Joseph real quickly. So Abraham, Abraham and Sarah have a son named Isaac, which means laughter, <laughs> Isaac. And Isaac uh, marries Rebecca. And it, it seems like they actually love each other. And they have twin boys, Esau and Jacob. Now, Jacob means trickster. And he lies to his father to steal the birthright. He steals the, uh, well, he steals the birthright from Esau, lies to his father to get the blessing. He's a trickster. And he has this encounter with the angel of the Lord. He wrestles with the angel all night long. And his name is changed to Israel which literally means wrestles with God. And then Jacob uh, falls in love with Rachel, wants to marry her, but the trickster gets tricked by his future father-in-law, ends up marrying Leah by mistake first, and then gets to marry Rachel. And then Jacob has children with these women. He has six sons uh, with Leah, and then he has uh, four more sons with his wife's slaves. Oh, uh, you know, that's not messed up. And then he finally has children with his beloved wife, Rachel. And so the firstborn son of his wife that he actually loves is Joseph. And so he plays dad's favorite, gives him this coat. Some call it the coat of many colors. Some call it the long sleeved coat. Either way, Joseph is treated more special. And then Joseph has dreams. He has dreams where the sheaves bow down to him. And then he has dreams where uh, the sun, moon, and stars bow down to him. And then he tells his brothers about it, you know, because that's pretty smart. Well, they're not very happy with him. They get mad. And so then they uh, throw him in a pit and they sell him as a slave to the Ishmaelites as they're traveling down to Egypt. And then they tear up his coat, put uh, animal blood on it, give it to his dad. And his dad is sad because <laughs> his favorite son's dead. And then while Joseph goes through these horrible experiences in Egypt, he interprets the Pharaoh's dreams of seven years of, of feast and seven years of famine. And then he is exalted to the second in command of Egypt. And his brothers come down and they end up bowing down to him to fulfill the original dream. And then the final verse is, Joseph says, you reckoned it for evil, God reckoned it for good. The very same word where God reckoned it to Abram as righteousness. The word means intended or like the motivation of God's heart, the reason for doing this. And so that's just a quick walkthrough visually. Now you can download this as a PowerPoint or as a zip file full of JPEG images. If you keep scrolling down, you'll be able to see the images uh, individually. So I hope that you find this helpful. I will put a link to this in the description. So hey, I hope, uh, again, I hope you enjoy this. This is a cartoonist guide to the Bible. It's just my attempt to create visual resources to help you in your preaching, your teaching, your personal study. All right, we'll see you next time.